what is up everybody in this video we're going to be playing Jin Zhao the last emperor that's not his title but we're going to go with it okay so for starters we're going to be starting e level one and for the build we're going to go a really good team fighting build which is the gore drinker into the whole hold on let me get a leash gore drinker build path and it's going to be really good for us for paths, you always want to start red if you can, but blue is also acceptable. Getting a leash is ideal, so here getting a leash is just is just good because Xin Zhao is an early game jungler. So when you play him, you do want to have impact in the early game. What he excels at is just really good early game ganks. But I will say his weakness is he doesn't clear that well. So having a leash does help. Level 2 ability, you want to go W. And your E just gives you attack speed when you dash, so that's really good for clearing. Overall, I think Xin Zhao is a really good jungle champion pick. He does excel well once you get to your item points. But he also has weaknesses that we talked about a bit earlier where... He has a slow clear, so you have to put the time in to clear with him before you can impact and get ahead in the jungle position. So here we're always going to go for a level 3 clear. If we're on red side, we always want to do this full clear. Where we do one side of the jungle and after that we can get level three and decide on what we want to do so in this situation if i wanted to do something else i could go probably look for a mid gank or even an invade but in this game i don't really see that as a good option so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get level three and keep watching the map to see what's going on and it looks like bots fighting so when they're fighting that means we should join that party beautifully done i mean this ash perfectly perfectly baited that out for us now we have a perfect angle to get on the bard see what they're gonna do here is they're gonna try to overly push this wave in so we're gonna sneak in and we're just gonna get on that bard really fast we hit the w we have lethal temple i didn't touch on it but the lethal temple is a huge thing for us here i don't think i'm gonna kill him so what we're gonna do is just try to run we're gonna outrun Destiny here. Well, hopefully Sivir can finish what I started. All she has to do is right click. But I mean, for me to really go over what I just did there, the whole ideal of it. Pretty much I initiated with the E flash to get the auto up. You know, if you know they don't have flash, what I just saw was all their flashes being used. That, that helped dramatically because I can just start with just getting on top. Decision job most of his damage is on his auto and his second part of his w so w when you hit it it actually extends your e range so it gives you ability to actually dash from very far away which is really cool but if i don't have the hit my range is much smaller as you can see so i want you guys to remember that it's a very important thing so here if he came close i hit w pretty much if you hit that max range w it gives you the extra range To, to hit your abilities afterwards. And they want to fight us, so we're always down here. I just don't want to get bars stunned. But if I get a dash off here, we can possibly continue chasing. Remember, we have lethal tempo. See, lethal tempo, you can just always fight your way out of the problems. I'm going to dash out and try to get out of that ability there. You can always W to slow people as well. Always want to keep that in mind here. So what, what's really cool about Zin, I'm going to go over his abilities. His Q, the third hit, knocks up. His W, the only part you really care about on his W is the second part. He slashes in front of him, doesn't matter. The hit is where it does the damage and also slow. So that part is where it's really important. So you always want to remember, you always want to hit that part. And because my dash is so short, as you can see, if I hit W, it gives me the the hussein bolt dash right there so that's what we're doing you always want to hit the w if you can and when you're starting off plays it depends on the situation personally for me if i can start without having a w it's just early game it's more important but later in the game it starts to get more important to just oh you see i i usually don't miss that but that's his that was a stolen raptor there so what we're gonna do we're gonna see if he's on my crux or is he on oh he's here so we got a runner Xin Zhao is, is, excels at melee fights here. Excels. With Lethal Temple, I really love his early game. I think it gives him a lot of power into these kind of like fight angles. So I, I personally prefer the Lethal Temple recently. 
especially when you, with his new uh was your passive healing every third hit it gives you a really good option so i mean i'm kind of getting gifted this guy thinks he's playing he thinks he can file flight me like you're not gonna outfight Zhen Zhao. melee range Zhen Zhao is just a god right so what i would say his weaknesses are are, are just too much crowd control he gets cc'd he can't really get more damage off he can't heal based off his passive that that can hurt him so we, we want to avoid that kind of stuff but with your r your r counters range champions because anyone outside of the circle cannot damage Zhen Zhao, so that's really good against like these range comps where they're trying to damage you kind of like gwen w but your ideal situation is you always want to kind of like dash in and do your auto and q combo so your q is an auto attack reset so what i've been doing a lot is i've been using my q as an auto attack reset if, we, if you watch my rex side videos auto q or my briar video is how we use our auto attack reset this is a very important mechanic on Jin Zhao, you usually want to use it when you're farming when you're when you're doing like aggressive plays though it doesn't matter as much but when we're farming we try to use our q as that auto attack reset to maximize our damage if we can here we see Lee Sin in actually in the top side so what we're gonna do is steal his jungle here you can always charge up your abilities like this and you hit a w you potentially could kill but it doesn't really look like that's like gonna happen so my goal right now is to kind of play for the the jungle camps going for him would be hard because he can just e out but maybe we can try i'm saving my dash you see how i knocked him up and then i w in a lot of plays if they have mobility and stuff like dashes and all that kind of stuff knock them up and then w is a really cool combo okay malphite's dead yeah, I don't think he stole my red. No, I, I missed it. Okay. And with your gore drinker and your whip, you always want to use it in your dash combos. So that's something we're going to practice a lot of. It's kind of just using it in our combo. E, e dash into a gore drinker is always a really good combo. Just get it on cooldown as soon as possible. So I'm really strong here. So how do you win games when you're really strong? You have a few options. You always want to do objectives if you're good. You don't really want to go for hard ganks. Hard ganks are just not really worth your time. You just want them to sort of come to you. You don't really want to be going around the map chasing everyone when you're really bad. Because you're, you are you are like the raid boss. So you should do things that can draw people in. And just not waste time going around like chasing everything. So here I'm just doing the Herald because I'm really strong. And it's a, good, it's a good time for me to do it. Here you can freeze it and try to get an eye proc. But I'm already pretty much one shot here so we just insta kill it here so if Malphite has R this is a good dive angle we always want to dive people we have strong CC abilities like in this example we have really good crowd control on Malphite so we can easily dive you can just look at the R cooldown right there but he's not actually pushing so we're gonna have to pull the waves to force him to be in this situation where we can just dive so here I hit that ability Let's get the party started you know I, I just like speeding things up you know like my time is money like you gotta you want to you want to be smart you got to think like that man time is money as a jungler i'm not the more time i waste it, what am i it's a waste of time and my time is important it's in fact the most important time for any champion any jungler any jungler Literally any, the most important role early game to not waste time is the jungle. So we always have to keep that in mind. So here I see them trying to make a bot play. I'm super strong. So I'm going to go bot side. Again, we're not really looking to force the fight. We're just kind of moving down there with the idea of like, okay, I don't want to lose my jungle camps. I'm going to see, I'm going to find Lee Sin so my bot lane doesn't necessarily feel so scared. And then when I feel like it's okay, I, I just go do my camps. Here I see them fighting, so then, okay, we'll fight. I have a W here we can use to just kind of eviscerate them there. I think Jin is up here, so we're just going to E and then hit the W. Ooh, just a bit short. 
Jinnar, 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 Jinnar. He's too fast for me. He's too fast for me. You know, you gotta try. You gotta try things to you know learn. Anyway, so don't be too shy to try things new. It's important to get out of your comfort zone, in game and in life. Just try to get out of your comfort zone. Enjoy like testing your limits. That's always something I. I feel like sometimes people like use it as like a meme. Test your limits, but for me personally, I think it's an important part of it getting better as a player is you know like when you're ahead when you're obviously embarrassed like embarrassingly ahead of the game try to try harder to see how much more you could do on a champion here we always want to start with the w because we talked about in the video hitting the w extends re range by like pretty much double they're actually fighting here so i'm gonna hit that w auto the babies give a lot so always try to kill them and yeah, don't 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 always interrupt your camps when something's going on. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh shit, some a fight's happening. I better stop farming. Do not do that. You're gonna get worse as a player and as a jungler if you keep doing that. So instead, I think you just have to really focus on just finishing what you've been doing. Lee Sin will come in here, so it's just good for me. Okay, I should have went slower there. I, I could have actually waited and dropped my hero and Malphite. Malphite kind of like baited me in in the sense I thought he was going to tank. So I was like, okay, if you're going to tank, I'm going to go. But then he just stopped tanking and I was going. So it was just super awkward. But in that situation, I should have dropped my hero and just went slow. I could have killed him at any time. I wanted to save my R initially. That was that was my mindset. Here, I'm going to drop heroes to make sure we actually get it going. And you know, I stumbled a couple times, but we don't really want to keep stumbling. So let's just focus on winning. And the way to win is just to be clean. And but by clean, I mean, let's keep getting objectives, get tower going. Don't do stupid plays. Because I dropped the Herald bot side, what's going to happen is it's going to be pushing pretty hard. So I'm most likely just going to go back it up here. I'm going to go bot side here. I'm going to push this whole area. So make sure we get this Herald crash. If Bard is here, then it's all good. But if Bard is not here, then we can kill or we can even dive the gen, right? So I'm going to drop one ward here. And my second ward is most likely going to be here. So I'm going to chunk him early. Oh, bro, I'm like 1v9, my V9, V9. If I got my four-man Gorjinker off there, it would have been so clean. But it was just so much going on. I, I couldn't I couldn't handle it, man. The juice was just not flopping. My team just abandoned me when I was like all the, all the team had. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably have to get my item spikes. And then when I get item spikes, it should be easy to take care of these people. It's unfortunate like dying after dying after especially when our early game was so good but sometimes things happen you have to just play play the way the way you want to play and just play honestly the way to come back from situations like this is just play for your items i'm really close to my second item so i'm gonna play to that and i also need my tabbies i should have went tabbies earlier here i was just feeling a little spicy that i really didn't need it like oh my god i don't need tabbies here you still oh my god is strong, but he's not strong enough to kill. Just arrow, my man. Ooh, that's a shutdown that you'd like to see right there. I don't think we're going to win that fight, if I'm being honest. But I think I'm going to kill that guy. <laughs> Go, Mafi! Use your body as a shield and get me vision to avoid losing Q here. Pretty much looking for whatever I can to life steal on. What? I 
I swear he already R'd, and then I just literally got put into the R again. What? I'm actually confused about that part. I swear I saw him ulting already. And then it's like I joined in on the Yasuo R. That was crazy to me. But it's okay. We got, that was a good fight. I got two shutdowns. I think I can carry this. This is like what we were playing for. Like these item spikes are pretty much god tier. I'm going to just out sustain everyone. But we, it's a, it's becoming a spicy one. It's not your regular stompy stomp stomp. It's more of a fight for freedom. Like a World War II situation here. But run towards me, man. Where are you running, man? Never stop fighting. This is what I'm talking about. The item spikes is what really hits hard on. Look how much sustain I have. Look how much sustain I have. This sustain is just un unheard of. In fact, I'm going to take care of business here. Watch this. It's called the the Inori Wombo Zombo. Second he stops moving, he's dead. Oh, I got moving speed. Nice. Oh, you can always W something like a wolf camp and then dash to it to get that extra extra jump there. It's a really cool interaction. I was hoping to hit that wolf camp, but let's see, you can only fight the entire nation of the red side for for so long before they overwhelm you. It was like I felt like I was playing fighting against the Soviet Union. The sheer numbers that came against me. It was number after number after number, bro. It never stopped, man. I was advancing on the snowy reign of the Russian Peninsula. No, no, wait. The Russian farmland, and then I just couldn't reach the rest. But anyways, let's get back to the game. So, I really need to get my blue smite going, but this game is so spicy that I can't not, I cannot stop fighting. And I really have to farm the rest of this, because this item slot is really annoying. It's the third item I go stick, because, you know, if I can just avoid getting bursted, it's just ideal. Yeah, you better help your boy there, you little coward. I'm not really scared of him. In fact, I'm scared of no man. But you can see the the sustain becomes very crazy, and I have you you two items. Two items is like your goal in this champion. The spike on two items is just really good. I think he put E into that brush, so I'm gonna avoid going in the brush. Once he stops moving, maybe we can catch up here. Get him, lads. That's the guy who hurt me. That's the one. He's right there. Okay, I've done enough. I'm gonna try to get out with my life here. This could be a Baron Angle, though. Let's keep that option up. It's looking like a Baron Angle, guys. That's, that's just how we do it in poor side in the hood. But you love to see it. You love to see it. Let's keep it up. This is a game-winning play. I mean... I think Jinjao is one of those champions where you just have to fight your way out of your problems in life, you know? Sometimes violence is the best solution. And I was in a sticky situation. Well, I just fought my way out of it. And it works a lot of times like that. But yeah, I'm really happy when you're... There's no way this guy's gonna step a single inch here. If he does, his destiny is about to get decided. Oh, Bo, as I was talking about... Jin Zhao is definitely one of those champs you have to fight your way out of it. If you don't fight, it's all about the sustain. You see, every third hit, I'm healing 150. Gore Drinker, getting chain knockups. We max W into E into Q last. We just have permanent dash. Every six seconds, we have a dash. Your Q actually reduces your cooldowns by 
one second. So pretty much every three seconds, we're going to be able to dash on people. So you can imagine how, how freaky that's about to get. And we're actually going to get Cleaver too. I, I usually go Sterix, Cleaver, DD. That's like my build. Or for MR, if I need MR, this game, no MR. I could go MR, but I don't really need it. But yeah, uh, it's a good flash by Ori, by the way. Wasn't expecting that one. Always stack your knock up and then go on someone squishy. That's really easy for you to, you know, it's really easy to keep doing that. Jin did use the movement speed abilities. I was just testing the waters. Sometimes you want to test the waters. Ideally, we do not die that low, but I'm a, I'm a bit of a raid boss status. We recovered. We, we just, we're just feeling, we're feeling it a bit. For MR items, usually, Wit's End is actually really good on Zen Job. If you want to tank your on something like Force of Nature, Spear Visage is also good. You cannot go Maul and Sterix. I personally think Sterix is just better than Maul in your build because it just generally it feels better to have more HP than to just be really low HP as the game progresses. But the DD is going to be really good for us to buy. Usually you can skip Cleaver and go straight into like DD too, but it's really up to you. Or you can just skip Sterics and go Cleaver then Sterics. But I felt like I needed a shield because of how pretty much I'm just like getting bursted by these champs. Well, for that hit, by the way, that's pretty much dash range right there. Damn, I actually couldn't finish off the bar there. He's literally took me on a little circus road trip right there. The, the damage is starting to get high. I think I'm, I think I should have went DD instead of going into Cleaver here. I think the armor could be really, really helpful, but I think I'm still going to go Cleaver. Because I, I might need the armor shred too this game. But I'm going to go DD next and that should be good. Zin Zhao actually doesn't do as well into melee champs as his, his R doesn't really counter melees as much as it counters range. But the range counter only works if they're outside of your circle. So if, it's, if a Jin can just sit inside my R, while I have it going on, that's that's a thing. But I think the game is. I mean, I'm actually the only one <laughs> doing well. My team to kill their carries are really strong, so we have to care for that. But this is actually one of those few timers this game we have to farm. So I'm just going to do as much farm as I can. But like we talked about earlier, what counters Jin Zhao is a lot about that. Crowd control really affects them. I'm going to actually start splitting here while my team's distracted. I'm going to try to get this tower. This tower is worth 600 gold. Do not fight, guys. Your E gives you move attack speed, so always want to use it here. They might all come to me, but I'm okay with it. I'm gonna base now. I'm, I'm a base, and we can defend base afterwards. I'm, this will give me cleaver and armor. Technically, I should just kill this guy. I flashed just to get in the range before I had to go. Now they're all gonna come to me. Maybe I can. I'm gonna ping the mouth. I see knows to help me.
Ooh, so close. Mouth bite, please. Oh, a late. It's funny thing is my mouth bite had R that whole time. And TP. But holy shit, we made so much money there. I'm, I'm gonna just one by the DD. Actually, maybe this better. Oh, I'm actually a raid boss. I could have played that a bit better though, but it's the problem is I was starting to run out of mana. And they just have way too much CC after a certain point. My items weren't good enough to kill. If I had these items now and I fought that, oh, I would have killed them all. 100%. 1 million percent. I think now we should do Baron. It's Baron time. Ain't no time like Baron time. If I get the red buff too, it's super good. Red buff and then Baron and then we're chilling. Like you guys probably think I know you're farming so shit this game. But it was like this game is just my team is not doing well. I have to kind of like help by ganking doing like it, everyone will they lose every fight if it wasn't for me. It's pretty much the situation we're in. Looks like the party's over. We don't have a wave, so ending it might be a bit tricky, but... Oh my god, this guy ran all the way away from Malphite, and he ended up catching him. Oh my god, I got every single kill in humanity. We play for Dragon, we do Baron. I could do Baron with a Malphite angle. Okay, we're gonna be full build pretty quick this game, so we're gonna have to see what we can do. I'll fight. It's okay about that last CS. Don't worry about it, bro. You can see how much spammable your abilities become once you have a certain amount of. And once you get these core items, you have promo abilities. So it's whether or not you're gonna be getting cock. Like, when you, whether or not you're gonna be getting CC'd is the bigger problem. So we always wanna think about that. core key <sighs> he bought a lot of times so at the base and pot up here they got the dragon oh get my red sweeper I maybe could have won sweeper earlier but for me it's not a big deal and I think we just go down mid here. I think this is usually how I end the game. It's just straight up. You ever get a bear and you just really just want the game to end. Just try to get your team to go mid. You go down mid, you end the game. It's like super good. It's just too good, man. It's too good to even pass on. Even it. Oh, shit. Here, they might walk this way. It's always a little surprise for them. The, the violence is, when will it end? When will the violence end, huh? Why must we fight each other, brother? And I charge my knock up there and then into a combo, into a combo, into a Q, into the W. Pretty much I charge my Q two hits and the third hit will knock up and that's how you dash into and really do the combo. And that's how you play Jin Zhao and this build is really good at low elo if you master the champion. And I hope you guys liked that video. Be sure to like, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already and yeah. I'm going to be uploading daily. I hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next one. Good luck in your games.